Welcome back to another NBA Truth Play Breakdown video. Today we're looking at Drew Holiday of the New Orleans Pelicans. He's been an all-star and has been on multiple all-defensive teams so far in his NBA career. His value lies in his ability to play at the one and the two. He can score and facilitate, which allows Holiday to be one of the NBA's most lethal combo guards. In this video, we're going to focus on the key aspects of Drew's offensive game. First up, when playing off the catch, Drew has impeccable footwork. He catches and stands on every occasion looking for his three-point shot. Defenders know this and consistently close out hard. So at the top of Drew's techniques are the shot fake drive along with the rip and drive. You see in this sequence he utilizes both well, establishing his feet and then attacking the defender's hip as they close him out. On the rip, he sweeps the ball through as the defender overcompensates and takes a long stride past the defender in a straighter line to the hoop as possible. It's very effective and efficient and allows him to get into the lane quickly. You'll see a couple of examples here where Holiday rips off the catch, gets a long first step into the lane and blows by the defender. At the top of Holiday's repertoire of moves is the behind the back dribble. He does it a lot. The behind the back dribble is Drew's reactive move. Anytime he feels a defender may reach or attempt to slide by, he uses it to counter and either keep the ball alive and protected, or to push the ball to space in the lane. When practicing this move, make sure you keep your head in the middle of your stance like Drew for balance. Keep your feet wide and the ball low. When you finish the move, the ball needs to pop up quick to your opposite hand in a way that is easily transitioned to your shot pocket. Again, reach by your defender with a long step and you'll create enough space in the lane. You'll see that Holiday times his behind the back perfectly. In the next couple of clips, you'll see that he times his move with the defender's recovery or lunge at the ball. Once he's completed the move, he has enough balance and space to either step back into a jump shot like right here, or to continue his drive. If you're an aspiring guard, Holiday is great to model your game on because he's so fundamentally sound. His footwork on these moves are perfect. Watch here. Behind the back, oops, where'd he go? Bucket. Each time. Same balance, same speed, same explosiveness. Holiday's scoring ability hinders on his finishing skills because of how often he drives the lane. The highlight of his finishing is his ball manipulation. He is unbelievable at reading the shot blocker's hands and manipulating the ball to still get his layup off. Even though he's right handed, he's possibly better with his left than his right when finishing. This allows him to switch hands in midair and finish, or take it to the other side of the hoop for a reverse layup. A great drill to improve this skill in your game is to ask your coach to grab a broomstick and use it to force you to improve your ball manipulation. Of course, if you've got a sneaky 7 footer lying around, you can use him as a shot blocker. That always helps. But the main point is that if you want to achieve Holiday's finishing level, you'll have to get used to moving the ball away from the defender's hands while maintaining focus on the hoop. It's an art, and it will take a lot of practice, but you'll get there. So sit back and watch Holiday's finishing skills before we head on to the next key aspect of his game. Because Holiday is one of the bigger and stronger combo guards in the NBA, at 6'4 and 220 pounds, he has become adept at turning drives into post moves. If he's cut off by a smaller guard and believes he has the strength and size advantage, he can transition to back to the basket offense. You'll see here in the next two plays, he drives hard and gets cut off, so he doesn't give up and turns his back to the D to post up. From there he can drop step to a hook shot like right here, and it's an easy two against a smaller, weaker defender. The next thing we're going to look at is Drew's mid-range game. Drew uses two different techniques most of the time. The first is a setup move, like an in and out or a behind the back, to get the defense to take a backward step anticipating the drive, and then he sets his feet very quickly and gets his shot off with balance. His second go-to mid-range move is a step back to create space. Holiday pushes hard off his lead foot and bounces backwards into a balanced shot. When practicing this, make sure your head is over your knee when you push back and that your feet are set in rhythm under you before you take the shot, just like Drew in these highlights. A great example of the step back right there is Holiday creates more than enough space for the shot. And then an excellent example of Drew setting up the pull up by using a behind the back dribble to get the defender off balance allowing ample space. Last but not least, Holiday's worth is in his ability to play both the point and wing position. This is highlighted by his ability to dish and kick the ball for the dime. He's a master at drawing the defense by driving deep into the paint, waiting for the help to commit, and then finding the open player. Now sit back and enjoy some more beautiful assists by Drew Holiday, 
and please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed this video. Share this video if you know an aspiring baller who is looking to get their game to the next level. I'll see you on the next NBA Truth video. Thanks for watching.